What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man George. What's up, guys? How you living out there? Lost in Vegas, coming back at you. The unbiased real reaction, baby. Shout out to our free thinkers, of course. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So, See, I have a mint in my mouth. Normally, I'm really good with the mint. Yeah. I hide it under my tongue and I can talk. I can barely, like, get that out. But I heard I don't it was think a little. Uh, you, you yeah, know what I, mean? I heard a little bit. But, but I was like, <laughs> I was going to talk about it after the video. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Can't talk back. So, uh, Pink Floyd. We had to get back the to it, mighty, guys. The yeah. mighty, legendary Pink Floyd. We had to return back to Pink Floyd. Yeah, man. And we put up a poll on our Patreon uh, channel. And thanks for everybody that participated yes. in that. And Shine On You Crazy Diamond is what... Well, that killed everything. Nah, it, it, was, it, was, it close. was close. It was close. Shine On You Crazy Diamond won as of right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we didn't really put a date on the poll because we're going to be removing the poll yep, right now. So right now. you see that. <laughs> So we're gonna be removing it. Money was given shine on you, Crazy Diamond. Hell, though, and that, yeah. it was pretty controversial. Cause it was we were close. looking in the comments, and people were like, "Man, money is just not a great representation." <laughs> That's like my like outraged voice, like when people <laughs> in the comments. It's not a great representation of Pink Floyd. It's and, uh, just a popular song, so I'm kind of happy that Shine On You Crazy Diamond won, to be honest with you. But, so. you know, maybe we can do a makeup. We can do, a, like, a consolation prize. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, you know, you guys keep telling us that it's just um, just doing it song by song isn't really doing Pink Floyd justice, and you guys think that we really should be doing four right. albums of Pink Floyd. But there's just one issue with that, though. You guys would not, I repeat, <laughs> would not like a video that encompassed an entire Pink Floyd album. You guys the way, would not. The way we are going to it would break be cut it down. Up. Yeah. It would be cut up. You guys are going to want to hear every transition, every everything about the song. You guys wouldn't like that. I'm just telling you right now, you would hate it. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how we yeah. can maybe work that out. I don't know. And um, you know what? Shout out to the gentleman. I apologize. I don't remember the guy's name, but he's like, man, this is kind of like picking one of them. Who's my best kid? You know what I mean? I'm like, that sounds like that's an impossible decision. You, you know, know, you know who your favorite kid is. <laughs> I'm just joking. All yeah, right, man. so let's uh, let's get into it. Without further ado, Pink Floyd, Shine on You, Crazy Diamond. Like a movie is starting, right? You know, so let's, get the, let's get the popcorn. someone doing Tai Chi um, yeah <laughs> like on the edge of a cliff like. hitting tiger uh what was it called like crouching tiger tiger hitting dragon yeah that's it hitting tiger <laughs> you know what I was talking about iron fist type stuff yeah man you remember the um the old Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, movies that's when, exactly what I had in yeah mind. like when he's getting his ass beat the whole fight yeah and then this is the part where he like seeks inner strength yeah. you know what I'm saying or he knows he's about to go up against somebody that can destroy him He's like, I gotta get mentally yeah. prepared. <laughs> but uh, in, in all honesty, though, guys, um, it, it it seems like this is gonna be a, a long instrumental because we have the lyrics in front of us. It says instrumental one, two, and three. So, I guess it's gonna be uh, just music for now, for a while. So good. Let's build so, it let's up. Yeah, let's build let's it up. Let's keep it going.
You know, I think this would be crazy live. I think this would be something that you could kind of see them like sitting on a stool, you know, just sitting there, you know, playing, crooning a little bit. You know, I, I feel like it, it just would be a, a, a smooth vibe if you were there live seeing somebody play this. Because it's very subdued, it's very like eerie and just, just, just cool, you know? I think it would be great I, live. I think it would be cool. Yeah, man. Let's keep it going. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> really enjoying this. Yeah, way I'm just trying to take this in, but I'm, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I could tell that this is gonna be a masterpiece. Oh though. yeah, this is. I, this is, I can see why everyone's like, "No, nah, you gotta do that." Yeah, you just don't hear this anymore. You don't yep. hear music composed yep. with this much uh, attention to detail, with this much purpose. It feels like yep. uh, anymore. Obviously, the blues influence you can hear mm -hmm. in here. Um, the atmosphere that this is uh, creating, I just think, is incredible. So let's keep it going. But so far, you know, what I mean, I'm immersed in it here. Yeah, man. stop it one more time guys but <clears throat> is it just me georgia does it sound like the guitar the way that tone sounds doesn't it sound like it's singing to you yeah I mean, it sounds it, like the, the 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 guitar is singing to me sure that's what it sounds like to me it just it it, it i can hear the emotion it with yeah. the instrument for sure i like, feel like it's wow yeah they're pulling um emotion from from the instruments the way they're playing it so clearly this is um uh, heavily blues influenced, that's yeah, for sure. Man. And you can hear sort of the psychedelic rock, uh, uh, you know, tidbits in here as well. So I'm just taking it all in, man. I'm just kind of piecing everything together just to see kind of what they're, what the artist is going for right. uh, in the music, man. So let's keep it going though, man. Obviously we're both very impressed with what we're hearing.
So all of our musicians out there, um, I have a question for you. When it comes to length of a song, um, now I know that there are restrictions for just the purposes of, I guess, what a record label right um, would sign you to or whatever. Yeah, case maybe. yeah. I know there's different contractual obligations and shit. But I mean, I'm just wondering how a musician approaches um, pacing and length of of songs. You know what I mean? Is it just yeah. the feeling that you get? Do you, do you feel it? Because the reason why I'm bringing this up is um, I love how they pace this. I actually really enjoyed um, just how it was built up. It's kind of like layered. Yeah, right? it's how they layered this, yeah. how, they, how they built this up. It's just it's just interesting because at the beginning, it just uh, it, there were a few there were a few riffs there, a couple of licks at the beginning. Really, really haunting licks, yeah. to be honest with you. <laughs> so obviously they went from that to sort of building the music, you know what I mean? Right. There, there was, um, then the solo kind of came in there, sort of that blues, Heavily blues and yeah. influenced solo, which sounded obviously uh, I felt amazing. Like, I felt like I was in uh, New Orleans or something. Yeah, I've never been to New Orleans, but that's what I would assume it would sound like. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, like, when they're when they're when they're composing their music, how do they know when when to kind of it start to include the different instruments? Right. right. Yeah. When it comes to pacing and building, is it a feeling that you get that, that they get when they're when they're creating, or is it just right? Or is it more sort of pragmatic and tactical? with when they do it. Yeah, I don't so, know. So, you know, give us some feedback in that. But I, I love the way, just to, to, to sum it up, I love the way that this was... And this the was pace. Built. The pace like of the pace. it as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it going. I'm really enjoying this and I think uh, when you start talking about feeling music you know when people say you feel the music I really believe that this is what you're talking about right yeah, man. I really feel like I could just be hanging out you know with my father God rest his soul you know just hanging out with him listening to something like this and we or we're not even engaging in any kind of dialogue no dialogue at all just sitting there listening to the music and just enjoying it just taking it in mm -hmm. my father used to tell me um, a lot of the time. That's a, that's a great. I'm glad the way, I'm, the way you ended that is exactly what's happening with me. Yeah. <laughs> just, take, just taking it in. Yeah? Just taking it in, man. And before my dad passed, man, he used to tell me, he used to say this statement all the time. And it used to bother me. He used to say, well, this one music was music. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dad, how do you define a word with the same word? Music is music. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And I think this is an embodiment of that, right? Yeah. Like, this is just music, right? This is just music that you can just sit here and vibe to and really just kind of take it in and have all these different emotions just wrapped up into one feeling. It's crazy. It's just, you're just, yeah. you're just sitting here and you're like, man, what? There's so many thoughts going through my head right now that I can't even articulate it into words. Sure. It's crazy. Absolutely. You know? And I, I'm just wondering how long it took them to compose this, though. Yeah, man. Now, I, I don't know. They could have did this in just <laughs> an hour. They could have just whipped this up in an hour and just it just came to them and it happened because that happens as well. Some of the right. greatest songs ever made yep. were created almost instantly that's true you get into like a, go a zone or whatever but this feels like this was this they took their time with it but Absolutely. you know any insight you guys have on it you know feel free to let us know in the comments but yep good points though sir yeah man
So who are they talking about in this though? I don't know. You were caught on the crossfire of childhood and stardom, which I think is a really mm -hmm. uh, well-written line. Blown on the steel breeze. Come on, you target for faraway laughter. Come on, you stranger. You legend, you martyr, and shine. Yo, give us some insight on yeah. that, guys, who, who they're actually speaking on. You legend, you martyr. You legend, you martyr. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Okay, let's keep it going. Saxophone yeah, music. I'm telling Let you. Run that back. I like how that came in. Yeah, man, uh, that was amazing, dude. That was great. There's so many emotions that I'm feeling right now, so many things that are going through my head right now, man. To kind of put it into words, man, it it sounds like to me this song in its entirety sounds like it's a dedication. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it's, it's, it's a dedication to someone that's either um, like I was talking about my father. That's the first person I thought about, man. Was um, you know his life and and his his laughter and what he brought you know, the happiness that he brought to my life. And I think that this is a good song to dedicate to somebody. I don't know if that's what this is, but uh, the, the pace started off very, very slow at the beginning, right? It mm -hmm. kind of built up, it had layers, and then at the end, it, it, the tempo kind of sped up and kind of kept going. You kind of heard the instrumentation, uh, kept playing when it was ending, which kind of gives me the indication that you know, you're 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 still remembered even though you're not here, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's shine on, shine on, and when they kept playing and the, as the the music kind of uh, mellowed out, but you kept hearing the sax saxophone going off, it's like you still, to me, you still feel joy there. Yeah. And I don't know, I could be way off, but this is just kind of the feelings that this song is. I agree. Has given me, you know. I agree. Um, and I just I just think it, it's great, man. I don't know how many times I could revisit it 
because all these emotions are kind of <laughs> being stirred up right now, man. And, and I'm thinking about, you know, my father and stuff like that. But, man, I think it's a beautiful song, dude. Yeah, man, I agree, man. Um, there's a lot of different things I liked about this song. I thought this was fantastic, yeah, man. man. I mean, just the way that this song was built mm -hmm. from start to finish. I love the pacing of this. I love how they took their time. It just seemed yeah. they took their time with each section and they and they allowed you to become immersed um, in the music. I mean, the melody, when they first started, when that first verse, verse started and they got into Shine On You Crazy Diamond, how they harmonized that, I thought yeah. that was beautiful. Yeah. And, and you hinted on this when you, um, in, in your uh, conclusion, man, on what you thought. It, it felt like a combination between sadness and despair, mm -hmm. but also sort of happiness almost like celebratory yeah in a sense like you said like they were dedicating this to someone because it says specifically in the lyrics you legend you martyr yep. shine on right mm -hmm. and, and, and this is like sort of in memory of someone that was really important to whoever right. you know what i mean i'm right. not sure who wrote the song or if they all if this was a collaborative effort but that's what it felt like it was like yeah it was sad but it was also celebratory mm -hmm. and um and i appreciated how this song musically felt that way even outside of the lyrics you know what i mean yeah. because I, I think if we didn't have the lyrics in front of us i would still feel that same Absolutely. way i still would feel like yeah mm -hmm. it's sad but it's also you know maybe if they hum the melodies and in, in the uh shine mm -hmm. on you crazy time i would still feel that this was um again just sort of almost rejoicing in someone's memory of some some sort so you know i think um this was just a great, great song. And you can tell they put their heart and soul into this. Yeah, man. And um, it's Crazy. something that it's something that stays with you. For seriously. I yeah, this, it does. this is gonna stick with me. I'm still thinking about it as we're as mm -hmm. I'm kinda talking. So great, great sort of uh, vote here. Hopefully you guys are satisfied with this choice. Yeah. <laughs> we're satisfied. And just so you guys know, I mean, if we like a song, that's a good thing. Yeah. Because it makes us want to, you know, revisit a group again. <laughs> <Absolutely. Yep. laughs> I can't wait to get back to the next uh, group again. So regardless of how some people feel about this one, this was a success. So we'll figure out how we can incorporate, um, you know, full bodies of work of Pink Floyd. If, if that's something we can do. We're not saying we can do it. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see if we can figure out how we can do it. How we can get that, it done. In a way that makes sense for both you guys and for us. You know what I mean? So um, great song. Thank you for everyone that requested that one. And that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, we have a Patreon channel. The link will be in the description. It will allow you to get early access to our content. I'm George. That's Ryan, Lost to Vegas. We out.